Yellow. All right, so you got two dragons, a brown one and a green one. I do. The green one was the very first dragon one that's been refinished, and it was made of stereo guitar at one point. It is the very first dragon one, prototype one. I played the guitar for a long time. I always liked English water dragons, and dragons on that guitar were, were drawn by a woman named Jude Van Dyke. But you got to remember, that's the very first dragon from the company, and the very first dragon ever. I like to show you guys cool guitars. Like this one. This is Paul's pre-dragon. This is a guitar he played before the term dragon in the PRS realm was even a thing. It's in my studio, along with one other dragon. The very first official dragon. I'm gonna play these guitars for you and give you a little backstory on what makes them special. And I have to admit, these guitars are a Trojan horse for me to tell you that Paul and I are at it again. We're back again this summer putting on the Paul Reed Smith Music School. That's right, four days of master classes from the greatest musicians on the planet, teaching you everything you need to know about music and of course, there's a guitar concentration for what I'm gonna be doing and legendary guitar player John McLaughlin joins us this year as a guest teacher. He is going to blow your mind. We're bringing a horn player into the mix as well this year with guest teacher Bill Evans, Tim Pierce and Brian Ewald and Tony McManus, newcomer to the scene this year. And of course, our old buddies, the Granger brothers and Dennis Chambers. Heard of those guys? They're pretty good. We're gonna be giving away guitars, we're gonna be teaching you everything we know. So use the link down in the description, get your ticket for the online virtual event where you can interact in real time with the teachers and have master classes for four days, August 9th through 12th. Let's play some dragons. This is the first prototype of the acclaimed Dragon series that PRS puts out. Not every year. How, how often do you guys make these? Whenever we get around to it. Yeah, it's not, all, it's not like an annual thing. No. As we heard in the tale, Paul has an affinity for water dragons. That is the conception for the whole design. And this guitar compared with the one that I'll play in a moment, this guitar is the closest to the PRS that I know and love. It's custom 24, just perfectly intonated. <laughs> This thing's awesome, man. Like, I would play this guitar all the time, and it's no surprise that Paul played this all the time in bands and probably turned a lot of heads with the crazy graphic here, uh, just beautifully drawn. And this top is just unreal as well. There's just so many little nuances to the wood. This is a real piece of history. I was trying to rack my brain what other guitar brand has a sort of exclusive stock? Like, this is even beyond private stock, I would say, because 
it's a dragon. It has its own category. A lot of guitar builders have a custom shop, which PRS has the private stock. That's their custom shop. I don't know if there's a custom model of a custom shop type thing like this. So this is a really unique treasure in the guitar world. And I thought to ask, I wonder how much these guitars are worth. They're extremely rare, extremely valuable. I played a lot of expensive guitars. I would value these guitars well over a hundred grand. It's just my educated guess, maybe 50 or 60 a pop. Truly relics of the guitar world. This guitar, I almost feel, is more substantial in my hands. It's It just feels old and trusty. You know what I mean? Paul's trusty pre-Dragon prototype, as you can see here. This was the, uh, the first Dragon ever conceived. It's just a wonderful little accent, but this guitar feels like a PRS guitar. It feels a lot like the guitar that Paul built for Neil Sean of Journey that I got to play last year when I was creating a video to promote our music school. You can tell it's a player's guitar because no truss rod cover, the uh, switches are sort of working, they're wired in a way that is specific to the player, the back plate is missing, and it's just a guitar that has clearly been tinkered with as Paul outlined. The original pickups for PRS when I was playing Root Boy Slim's band, every night I changed the pickup until I found the original pickup that was the deep dish that we went to market with. The deep dish pickup, what I used to do is take Gibson bobbins and cut them and make them deeper so I could wind more turns on them and glue them together with super glue. Literally, the, the, the bobbins are deeper. Our bobbins that we use are 1 32nd inch deeper than normal ones so you get more turns on them. Turns is power, right. So not discerning to the tone, but it's just a well, way you no, manufacture it, it, them. It, it, can, it can make the guitar pick up way less bright. Mm, okay. Less bright, more powerful. It's, it's a way of allowing that. But the deep dish pickup was the original one. They sound good. The original deep dishes are coveted, you know, and I wire it in and take it to the gig and try it all night. And then make adjustments and try it all night. Make adjustments and try it all night. So would you change pickups during a gig? No. Okay. <laughs> in, in the repair shop, no, not ever during a gig, ever. I was going to say that'd that be a pretty be quick a turnaround. That would be thing to do. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get to say in my life. Well, I played a lot of amazing guitars, but this one, <laughs> but I, I really did feel like that playing these instruments. You know, I don't get to keep them. They go back to where they came. So I have to really focus on my time with these instruments and it was just special and I wouldn't be able to do things like this if it weren't for your viewership. So I'm eternally grateful for that. 
If you'd like to support me further, then check out the link in the description to grab your ticket to the Paul Reed Smith Music School. It's an online event. You don't have to be there streaming all four days if you can't make it. These recordings are accessible with your ticket purchase indefinitely. So if you're looking to improve your musicianship, whether you're a guitar player, drummer, keyboard player, bass player, we will help you and it will be well worth your time. Thanks again for watching and until next time. Thank you.